love being in the same rooms as so many people that work in the same industry as me and I don't find any other way of accessing that. Oh, tonight was brilliant. We got to meet, um, do lots of networking and meet wonderful people, voices, people like that, some really good industry contacts. I've been offered a job tonight um, with the BBC Radio, which is brilliant. Well, it's been really, really worth coming. Uh, this is my second voiceover network party, no third actually, and each of them has been really productive. Not only because I've met other voiceover artists and clients, producers, voiceover agents, but also because the voiceover work as a voiceover artist is very isolating and very solitary by nature, so to come out and meet other voiceover artists is really, really useful. And one of the things I loved is Rachel put on something and created something for all of us as a community, well overdue. Rachel has done the most amazing job. I was with her when we met up for drinks in Richmond a couple of years ago. It was literally three of us, I think, by the river. And to see what she's accomplished now is just unbelievable. I had some very good advice from some, an old uh, radio uh, editor I worked with years ago, he was freelance, and he said, you shouldn't measure your freelance success in days or weeks or even months. He said, you should measure it over a period of a year. It's a real pleasure to work with a lot of fantastic actors and people that I've admired all my life, and then I'm, now I have to phone them up and ask if they're going to be available for a voice when we did the Radio 2 thing, the Jeremy Vine thing, we were just messing around, you know, those kind of things is where I, I feel it. Because I started out as a musician, I still play. And when you got three or four of you or a big band or whatever like that, and everybody's like going towards the same thing and you can just feel it take off, that can happen with voiceovers. I come to these events because it's a chance to meet other voiceover artists, get out, meet them face to face rather than just online, yeah. and make the connections, and it's fun as well. Rachel always puts on a good deal and for me it's an interesting thing to see other people who feel my pain, who are going through the same thing that I'm going through. Um, yeah, Rachel does a great job. She brings everybody in the industry together. I think the VoiceOver Network membership idea is fantastic. I think it's affordable. I think the benefits are well worth the membership fee. And of course looking forward to being part of the official, official member of the VoiceOver Network that has officially launched this evening.